very often it is shallow water which has the greatest concentration of algae and of small animals such as the arthropods depicted here as zooplankton. What advantages do you think might have resulted from young fish being in an environment such as this? What advantages might there be in inhabiting aquatic habitats near the shore, given that food chains typically start with producers such as algae and small animals of the zooplankton? In the Devonian, a number of fish could be found near coastal environments, in freshwater environments, and a few might even have been able to come out onto land. So, for example, there was a group of placoderms, which includes the genus Bothriolepis. The earliest members possess unjointed pectoral fins. Later members possess pectoral fins with joints, and then still later members, such as Bothriolepis, possess elongated pectoral fins with joints. This suggests that they were adapting to move in shallow water or on land for at least brief periods. Given that Sarcopterygian fish were predators, why might they have benefited in adapting to life near land? By the mid-Devonian, a number of primitive plants had moved onto land. The first animals had adapted to land in the myriapods, which included both millipede-like animals and centipede-like animals. In addition, a number of the sea scorpions were able to come onto land for at least brief periods of time. And so there would have been a number of arthropods which would have inhabited terrestrial environments. What opportunities would this have presented for Sarcopterygian fish, 